educational opportunities are really driven from the local communities, as in a local municipality or city. And unfortunately, some of those educational pushes may not come until there is pressure points, as in a need to for restriction. And I think what's important, and you'll see with the Proposition 6, the education on that, and as we move forward with the internet, modern technology, you don't have to have necessarily your municipality work to educate you. Is it important to have a green grass or is it important to have food on your table? You know, the, 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 those are the conversations we're going to have to have here in the future. If, let's say, it happened to rain 20 inches across the state of Texas and the drought would subside, we still need to make sure that when we're not in a drought, people people get that. You know, I think we've learned here recently that that reservoirs are probably not the, the ideal way to solve this problem. There's probably a handful in the state, three or four. One just got approved here recently in North Dallas in the last two or three days that are going to happen. That's really going to be it. Um, we're going to have to look at different ways to solve this problem. And, you know, surface water is very complicated. It's very, very complicated. There's a lot of things that go into into the fold there. I mean, groundwater's got its own sets of issues and stuff. You know, we can't develop new water in the state. We can develop better uses of water and different ways to use water that's, that's there already. And that's what we have to look at. Um, you know, I, I'm not a big proponent of reservoirs at all. And, you know, I mean, we're seeing, I think Austin's a perfect example of some of the clashes that they will provide in the future of, you know, what's, what's important, population growth, recreational use versus, you know, agricultural use versus, you know, bays and estuaries and downstream stream flow. And, you know, I think we can alleviate a lot of that conversation by looking at different ways, better ways, uh, more productive ways uh, for developing our water source for the next 50 years.